I love working in technology. I love working with women in technology, and I do believe that there are not enough of them. So I, I I'm thrilled that we're doing this. Excellent, excellent. Mm. Just kind of a little um, a timeline of how you got to be uh, where you are today. My more serious involvement with technology started in college. In, I studied physics, not computer science, but we had to learn how to code as part of the pro uh, as part of the program. And uh, I must say, when I was in college, I even though I enjoyed it very much, I really didn't understand what the applications were. I, I associated uh, computer science with sort of IT work, and it didn't seem exciting to me. And so I thought, oh, well, I mean, I won't. I didn't even consider the major. And then. When I graduated college, I, I sort of wanted to see what was out there. And I joined a consulting firm. And they had a completely different view on my ability to code. And, they, and so they put me on all of the projects that required any coding. What we started doing was basically offering clients business, like the, the, they approached the, our consultant with, with business strategic issues. And what we gave them was a project together with a product. So whenever they had recurring problems, we created software, custom software that we gave them as part of the solution. And that was my first experience with product development. Um, and I must say that was a very formative experience for me because I just couldn't believe that my coworker, Jim, and I in our little cubicles with our computers, we're making software that these companies were using with hundreds of people. And we thought, it's just incredibly exciting and, and so very low cost compared to you know, other types of engineering, right? Like where, for example, civil, you need, where it takes years. Here, two individuals could affect all of these people. And that, just, I, that really moved me, I guess. Um, I love that. And so after about three years there, I decided, OK, I know that I love this function of creating products. Um, and I, but the field, not so much. We were making products for, for pharmaceutical companies, which was great, but it just, I just, it just didn't, wasn't the industry where I wanted to be. And so I kept in my mind that when I, I thought, at some point, I would like to do this for myself, and then I'll choose an industry that I like. Uh, and so after that, I went to business school and I was exploring other industries to do the same thing. And I ended up working for, for you know, a, uh, an internship for this company in Kenya. Uh, and it was it, the same, like they, uh, <laughs> they had this public toilet business and I was supposed to help them get the business started, but they couldn't afford an accountant. So I made an accounting software and I thought, I mean, wow, at some point, you know, if you're a hammer, everything looks like a nail. But my solution at this point to problems is like, let's just make software. So that was awesome. And then after I graduated from business school, I worked with a, um, a Native American tribe in Washington. Uh, and they also had some needs that could be solved by software. So I did that. And after about two years with them, I thought, all right, uh, now I've seen, I've done this enough times where I feel I can do it for myself. And that's where I started looking for industries and uh, that I, that, for an industry where I would start my company. And I chose education and creativity in particular because um, I've always enjoyed a creative pursuits. And I saw, I saw a need in, a, this was around the time when COPA came. Are you familiar with the Children's Online Privacy Protection Act? Yep. yep. So it was around the time when COPA came into, uh, was enacted in the US. And it was at the same time that families were getting all these iPads. And so there was the potential for kids to connect with, a, with family using these devices that were now infiltrating the homes, but no secure way to do it. And given that I really like creativity, I thought, all right, this seems like something that I could get really excited about doing the same function that I've been doing for so long. And that was the start. 
that was basically the start of Moonrup Entertainment, which is a, the company that that you know the company that has created Drop for Schools and Drop for Families in two thousand and eleven. That's amazing. That's amazing. Yeah. Quite quite, quite a journey. Quite a journey. Yeah. <laughs>